Hey guys, so if you're feeling really crappy, uh, you're just struggling, things aren't going well, in your opinion, things kind of suck right now, there's a few things you can do to help yourself feel better. If you don't have an outlet, someone there in your life to kind of help you, help you out in the moment, you can take, and so you're more on your own when you're trying to figure out how to, how to change things. There's a whole bunch of different angles to take. Some are easier and some are not so easy. What I'd like to do is list a few ideas for you on how to make yourself feel more well, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. More well, wellness. Um, if you don't have a lot of resources, you're kind of by yourself, start with changing your diet. Um, there's a million different people saying a million different things about how to have a uh, proper diet. What I strongly suggest is you look at living foods. They have a higher uh, vibration, as some people might describe their energy. Living foods. So yes, try to hit plants. Try not to hit up meat as much as you can. Um, you don't have to give up meat. That's your choice. But at the very least, add the good stuff. I recommend a green smoothie. Uh, not as hard as it may sound to have a green smoothie every day. If you have a blender, you're halfway there. You'll have to buy ingredients. You'll have to adjust your food budget to incorporate some fruits and vegetables. Here's uh, what I here's what I've done, and it's it's awesome when you get into the habit. You feel so good. Uh, I put a splash of orange juice at the bottom of the blender. Two bananas peeled. Uh, one apple cut up. I blend that. I blend that up. The orange juice, the apple, the banana. Then it's just like this, like whitish, like whatever in there. And then I add frozen mixed berries. You can add pretty much any frozen fruit you want. I've done mango, um, all kinds of berries like strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, blueberry, uh, peaches. So frozen fruit. I highly recommend the frozen fruit because it makes your smoothie cold, creamy, and almost like a dessert. And then after I've blended up the frozen fruit into that mixture, then I add the real nutritious stuff, leafy greens. I usually put two handfuls of spinach, one handful of kale. The mixture goes from originally like a yellowy white to this bright like purple or red, depending on the berries you're using. And then it turns into this kind of greenish, not as appetizing looking to others color. Uh, but you don't taste the greens, you just taste the fruit. So I just taste strawberries and bananas and orange juice. Um, but people look at me and they think I'm, it's like it must taste terrible because it has this greenish color. Absolutely not. Green smoothie once a day. Try to walk in nature. Get out of the physical environments. Get out of man-made structures. Try to spend time in nature, away from man-made structures. You don't have to go into the middle of some giant forest or on the top of a mountain. Connect with the plant kingdom. Try to connect more with Gaia, Mother Earth, Mother Nature, the feminine divine energy that makes the planet what it is, however you want to call it. Uh, spend time with the animals, pet pet animals. Um, get permission to pet uh, people's animals if they're you know walking their dog or something by you. Um, I honestly, ever since a little kid, I intuitively knew the more animals I could interact with, the longer I would live was what the logic would tell me. And in retrospect, I realized the more animal interactions I have, the more the less stress and more peace I'll have, which makes it long, makes your lifespan tend, tend to be longer if you have less stress and more peace. So yes, interact with the animals. Kids, interact with kids. Small children possess wisdom that we all have but have mostly forgotten about. Unless someone has really tapped into the child within, they're, they've lost most of that wisdom. So connect with little kids. You'd be amazed what they can teach you. Get enough sleep. Get enough sleep. So important. Cut back on drugs and alcohol. Cut back on meat. And if you're doing all those, 
one of the harder things for some people is exercise. Try to exercise regularly. You don't have to exercise in a way that you don't care for. For me, if I want to get cardio, I don't care for jogging. I don't really care for treadmill. But I enjoy basketball a lot. So for cardio, I would play basketball. But I wouldn't run. But in basketball, I am running. So yes, even half court um, is fine. So exercise in a way that you enjoy. So there are some ideas if you're feeling down on small steps you can take that can help make you feel well. All right, I'll see you again.